Hello everybody, it's your girl Connie Kenneth and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing great. I hope you subscribe. If you're not, make sure you subscribe and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend so guys, you can help me. You know, just bring more content. It just motivates me, you know, to, uh, to make more content for you guys and more reaction videos because when you meet somebody like Mongai Eve, you just want you know, to just make these reaction videos. And I'm telling you, I'm discovering more and more YouTube creators from Africa. And I love what I'm seeing right now. So I met Mongai um, Eve, you know, through the videos she did with, of course, Wodemaya and um, and Miss Trudy. So, and I was like, wow, this girl is so inspiring. And I will, you know, react to her video, uh, you know, with... Uh, uh, a farmer actually who makes one million monthly selling boga kienyeji so that is cabbage in the streets of Juja. so let's see what this is all about and i love it already because i feel agriculture is the future so let's see guys it's near river okay. yeah and darugo river is uh, in Juja for sure because i I know a little bit of Juja. It's been a while since I went there, but yeah, it brings a bell. Mwahe, tu chile na karaoke tu ambi after hiyo safari yote. Wana pata nini sikuwe sasa na kuanga yeni kuchoka tu, kuchoka tu, kuchoka na asara tu jotu miona wenye nenda asara zavi. So guys, if you do not understand Swahili, I will try my best to translate what they're saying. I will try my best to, you know, just to you know make, make sure that the message you know uh comes across and go you know so i hope that you know just bear with me i will try and translate so what she's saying is she wants to understand why what keeps him going you know despite the long distance you know from the farm to sell his produce to the town all the losses he undergoes because i think as a farmer you undergo so many losses Due to the weather, sometimes you can plant something when it's not guaranteed it's going to rain, so you can lose your money like that. Or there is the market is you know submerged maybe by the mboga, and so you have to sell it to loss, or you've been exploited by the brokers and stuff like that. I know because I have a big family, you know, from Kirinyaga actually, who've gone through so much as farmers, and you know, and so yeah, she wants to understand what keeps him going despite. All the losses, all the you know, all the challenges actually. Okay, so his name is Karaoke. Okay. Okay. What do you get? Approximately unapatanga kani kanini after umelipa unajua kuna workers. Hey, let's money talk. Let's talk about it. <laughs> At the end of the day. After job, yeah, because at least I saw in farming there is good money. Mm -hmm. uh, issue two in a kwanga challenge ni the, the, the initial capital, mm -hmm. which is not easy because mm -hmm. you need very powerful machines, right? You know, like kuna drip irrigation, kuna sprinklers, and all right. that. It is expensive, but then again, yes. I think that's the biggest, yeah, that's the biggest challenge as a farmer. Because the thing is, you know, when you have, you know, like high, what do you say, good, good machines that costs a whole lot of money, you know, if you need to irrigate, you know, during the hot seasons, if you need sprinklers, all those things, I think the logistics must be the most difficult thing when you're starting the business as a farmer. And, um, but yeah, it's not impossible. It's not impossible. And I believe... Um, you know, with if you're passionate about it, if you love agriculture, because I believe it's not for anybody. It's not just for everybody because it it takes a lot of time, a lot of energy. You know, you need to from the time you plant the seed to the time you harvest and selling the produce. It's a long process, but it's worth it. I believe it's worth it. On the long run, it's a, mm. it's a good business. Right. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, shout out to the operation and everything. On a day to day. Eh, in a kuwa poa sana. Uh -huh. Okay, but why? It's tiresome. <laughs> it's tiresome. But I believe jobs are tiresome. Ah, right. Jobs, jobs are kuanga challenging, but then ukulima pia it's a bit challenging. Yeah. So, manazile losses mtuweta. Yeah. 
ulikuwa ma expect kushapeleka kwa shamba ka kitu kwa ya kwa market ka kitu then we just squeeze seasons zilibadilika we are trying to come the story zingine there is a time unapeleka nga kitu kwa soko you meet these people called brokers yeah yeah eh uh, ama middleman right mm. unafika huko umemletea kitu a whole pick up all a whole lorry mm. akiziangalia hivi akwambia ah sisi niko nimeitisha mm. na ushachuna mm. so you always have to sell it at a throwaway price ah, that, that is so bad because what he's explaining is you can um you know as a farmer you already have so many things to do and so most of them are uh, you know have brokers or middlemen you know so the farmer sells the produce to the broker the broker then sells it to to other people so it's a long process but as a farmer you can take your stuff to the to the broker or the middleman you know whatever you know the case may be and then um and then he says no that's not what i asked for and you've already harvested So that's a problem. You can't take the produce back to to the farm. You can't. So you're forced to actually sell the produce at a throwaway price as he, you know, very well says it. And so you go at a loss because that means you're in a hurry to sell, so you have to sell it, you know, for peanuts, for nothing after all the things that you've done, the hard work and everything. So it's a pity because this is something that is very common. Uh, in Kenya in particular I don't know if it's in Africa as a whole because I know I've seen it from you know my my relatives who are farmers and yeah it's a terrible thing because and that's why you have some who decide to actually create a cooperative where they know you know as a cooperative then probably you will undergo uh these things like they're there still but probably less as less important as if you deal directly as an individual you know with a middleman that is one thing about challenging about uh ukulima wait you do sell or uh, nini to brokers una jamii chuki si tumekuza ukiza pale that and then it happens like this eh? mm. uh, you see market zingine ni a bit small mm-hmm. always maliza everything you have yeah. kwa shamba yeah. so you need other people to help you sell right uh, that is one challenge yeah because if you if you get people who most of them and if they are not honest mm. una ungwanga you ban completely right. people have banned mm. completely yeah. yeah if you just come up come across a bad person someone who wants to exploit farmers then they will spoil your business it will demotivate you so you can always find solution and i think karaoke found solutions wow no wonder no wonder especially wakikuyu kwanza wakwetu yeah. wana believe brokers ni wabaya ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. unasikia mbona kama broker huyo ni broker ni kama ni wizi anaweza kukubali eh urudi home ah. <laughs> yeah they're saying like um i mean brokers have a bad reputation it, i mean when you hear someone is a broker it's like you're saying someone is a thief you know that's um exactly how people look at them because some of them not all of them but most of them have you know are not honest people so yeah okay so karuki hapa yeah. hivi is it challenging kupata maboys wa kusaidia uko na kuwa uko kwa shamba it's a, it's a big challenge oh, okay so she just asking if uh he gets um labor force is it easy to find you know some young men who are willing to come help him at the pa- at the farm but apparently it's um it's it's a challenge as well because i know we were looking for jobs but i understand on the other hand because i think the young i mean even my generation but also the younger generation have this mentality you must have a white collar job and anything that is blue no 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 there it's it's a no but it's a pity because i feel like today things are changing and i'm so happy because i have so many um i've seen so many young um entrepreneurs agripreneurs um who are actually changing the narrative by showing yeah i'm a young person but i have a farm and i'm you know i'm making money i want to change africa because we are importing stuff we have everything in africa but we are going to to brazil to buy rice and we have moya we have rice in kenya rice is coming from china why we have rice in our country as well so Um yeah it's a pity and that's why we need more and more young people getting into farming and also honest brokers who can help distribute all the produce and people are dying in some parts of the country because of no food and 
we are, I mean, our soils are, are fertile and I, I mean, it's a pity. So let's, let's support our farmers. Let's go to the local market. Let's stop going to the supermarket because we want to be classy or and let's stop that Western mentality where everything has to be perfect. The tomato has to be round and a beautiful color, a specific size and this. No, that is not organic and organic foods are what's best for our health, first of all. And also we are supporting agriculture, local agriculture. Mm. You see this place, huh? It's sparsely populated. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So kuweza ku reach wase, kuna wasi wengu wanitaka job. Mm-hmm. Kuweza ku reach ina kuwa ngumu sana. Okay. Unona. That's why mini likuna sema, uh, unona hii Juja constituency. Yeah. If I'm elected na iza tatu kuena lima. Oh, oh, is he running for Juja? Okay, karaoke. Okay, okay, okay. So I hope he will bring change. I mean, if you're from Juja, then vote for him because... Um, he wants change because he's saying he's, it's difficult to find people who want to farm, you know, to work at the farm. And he's, you know, he wants to employ people, but it's not easy for him. So, okay. Office. Mm. Labor office, ni anybody ambaye oh. neza tatu kuena labor office. Okay. Labor office, ni anybody ambaye anataka jo flani akwe kwa labor office. Mm-hmm. Nona, we can be able to reach them. Yeah. But... Oh, that's a good idea. That's a very, it's an excellent idea. It doesn't exist because I know it exists um, in, in Europe, for example, where if you're unemployed, you go to the labor office and then at the labor office, you register yourself and then you keep going back just to check if there is, you know, there's some, some, you know, job positions which are open. So that's a very good idea, uh, Mr. Karaoke, 100%. Go for it. Very easy. It's very easy. As long yeah. as you have a contact with your labor office up at Juja, mm-hmm. I go there and I can call them. You, can even, you can even get them immediately. I can get them immediately. Right mm-hmm. now, I'm always calling. People are coming from um, Hapo Kambani to mm-hmm. come to a job. Up. Mm-hmm. You know? mm-hmm. Yeah. Why? So it's a big challenge. Yeah. Sometimes to get a job to a job is a challenge. Okay, I didn't ne- know. I would never have thought it's that challenging. To find people and he has to go uh you know, you know he has to go to other towns to look for pe- for labor i mean that's um uh, that's an interesting thing and I, I think it's a good idea that he's thinking about opening a labor office if he's elected okay okay a lot of people who can work. Aki, aki, especially the town when you vijana too are material too. Na tungo asaidia, but sasa then again, uh, ukimwambia nge huku mashambani na kuwa mm. challenge kwa uh. ke. You know, like, you know. Uh. You know. Yeah, oh. that's what I was saying. Like, young people do not want to have dirty hands, so they prefer working in a more classy job, and so that's why it's difficult for him to find young people in his town because they don't want to you know, they don't want to farm. Easy. Always, I need. Always. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, Kariki. Uh, yeah. So, I say, my kazi, where you can't complain. Can't Comparing to Ile Agua, your bouncer. Your yeah, bouncer. Your huh. bouncer pay you, Kamzuri. Uh, but this is better. This is better. <laughs> this is better. 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 All right. Yeah, you're self employed. So, I don't know if it's the same thing everywhere but a bouncer in kenya is a guy who um who is always at the door when you go into the club and so he can say you can go you can't go or when there's a fight inside um then he just throws people out of the of the club so we say a bouncer in kenya is it the same thing where you're from let me know in the comments below how do you call the the guy who guards the door when you go into the club then again, uh, you are able to be your own boss. Yeah. Right. It's a good job. Okay. Uh, I will tell people. Yeah. To when you're self-employed, it's the bomb. You're your own boss. You ah, oh, you can do so much because it's your business. So you're ready to go ex an extra mile for your job for your business. Greatest challenge. The greatest challenge yeah. is middlemen. Yeah. 
Oh, mm. <laughs> yeah. He he just repeated it again. His greatest challenge is the middleman because of all the exploitation that goes around and lack of honesty and stuff like that. Those people are uh-huh. uh-huh. many on the shaman. There's a time when I'm playing a key to a whole pick up a whole lorry. Uh-huh. And a young lady will come to see all the attacker. I look at the accumulated sample and come as a man attacker gun. Yeah, and a kayo. So you ban. Now you can be you can go with those things back or shamba. Oh, wow, that's terrible. So, for those of you who don't understand Swahili, so what he just said is um he's undergone so much with the middlemen the brokers and so he would like take a sample to them of something i don't know let's say a cabbage or tomato or whatever the case may be and then they say oh that's what i want and then when he comes with a whole track or pickup full of the cabbage for example and then the middleman says no that's not what i asked for and so He's in a fix because he's already harvested and what to do, I guess, he just sells them, you know, at a loss because he can't take the produce back to the farm. So that's terrible. You just have to sell to sell it to him yeah. or to her. Uh. Uh, so you end up making a lot of losses because you'll sell mm. it at a throwaway price. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Uh. And you know, me, I'm, subscri- I'm surprised to go on a venue mm-hmm. at had the juja any places then you can't even think of watu yeah. wanafanya hii farming yet yeah. in Kenya kuna watu wana serve some people believe mm. Kenya kuna chakula <laughs> yeah such things so una vinyoku give is a lot of land yeah not utilize hata hapo na but people complain that there is kuna land but hakuna maji kama huko let me tell you guys will always find an excuse you know she just said like People are complaining that there is no food in Kenya, right? And then he says, yeah, there is land. And then she says, yeah, but people still complain that there is no water. It's like, yeah, but, you know, you have rivers, you can irrigate, uh, and so on and so on. So it's just a question of excuses, and that's why we need more farmers so and, and honest brokers who can distribute the food to the rest of the country. Simple. Vivadarugo. And Vivadarugo stretches way, 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 way far. Okay. So, uh, and this is a, it's not a, it, it is a permanent river. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's all season, you know. Mm-hmm. So, uh, challenge maji ukuwa, especially sa hizi vini diesel na petrol imepandisho bae. Bae, jume kwa mm-hmm. challenge. Jume kwa challenge. Mm-hmm. Unawa vini juu ino waka. Sana. Sana. So, mm-hmm. cost ya kufanya kulima imepanda juu. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, approximately the to say me, uh, approximately the number that you get. Uh-huh. It's you just approximately. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we want to know, Karaoke. We want to know how much money do you make? <laughs> uh-huh. Thank you, Kambia. Uh-huh. Just approximate. Uh-huh. I'm telling them. Uh-huh. 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 I think in a, uh, in a month or per day. Nigani <laughs> poa? I think it's okay. Ama pa hiya. Inania. Ahiya ni moa. Basha ata chujwe in a day. In a day. Uh, okay, okay. Sikuwe nyo umeuza vizuri. Ya, yeah, on average, hmm. uki, uki to operation cost na nini na nini na nini, hmm. at least you can go home with 10-15,000. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So 10-15,000, that's between uh, $100 and $150. Oh, that's so nice. That is on daily produce, unajua? Hmm. Yeah. But on a month? On a month, you know, say you can come harvest things like tomatoes mm-hmm. and things and this and this, unajua? So in a month, probably... A meter. Mm. A meter and more. So, what? Okay. So, if I understand, a meter for me is 1M, and 1M for me is 1 million. So, in a month, he can make 1 million Kenya shillings. So, that is what? Um, That is $1,000. Right? Or, or $10,000? Wow, that's good money. That's really good money. And um yeah, and which makes sense because he doesn't sell the same thing because he have seasonal um produce. So, you know, it keeps changing and I mean, there's some produce have more high demand like tomatoes have a high demand. So, he makes more money depending on what he sells. So, it keeps changing. So, in nini, uh, it's like Hata wiki hazifanani. Jui wiki unaweza kuwa na unauza certain things. Mm-hmm. Next week unauza something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, kama eh, mm. unaona kama kuna to 
tomato zenye bado hazijachunwa hmm. zitachunwa probably in a month or two yeah, yeah. so you so, adapt to the, the money that you make yeah okay mm. so watu wanafaa wa turn to farming mimi na farming trader eh yeah he's encouraging people to go to farming there is good money so young people go 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 and start farming because you have to like farming and and everything but it's a very nice business apparently so Eve, you don't want to tell us about your youtube business ah uh, okay but i understand it's not about you it's about karaoke so yeah i understand it's fine it's fine but we know youtube when you're you know as hard working as eve is um you know and he and her director of course aka husband or boyfriend then yeah you can make good money as well with youtube they ever unaona vumbi uko nayo eh hawa vijana ka hadi huko hadi huko na feel tu kuoga naitwa juja it's not a joke nimeona karaoke mnashinda kwa hivyo mbili niko nayo inatoka wapi na just tunakujanga hapa tunapata mali venye ni clean smart smart hapa rather than it's easy ah wewe basi umeona not hata kama ulisema unapata hiyo mita hapa man you deserve it even Yeah 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 I think if I guess they got to go from the farm now to the town where they're selling the produce and she's saying it's quite a hassle she never thought it was that difficult you know so it's unfortunate we don't have like a footage of their way here but there must be a reason to that um so she's just explaining that she understands uh she, he really deserves the 1 1 million so Kenya shillings um that he makes per month big it's a lot of work it requires a lot of work and energy and yeah and name it do come here the gun i went to it's not a job minimum to realize well you already look na na for gari guy a bumpy ride the distance is long so long then pia uko place friend and come on there's a like kuna zoo ase kuna place zenye atungeza ku feel But, eh. okay i understand so that's the reason why they couldn't film because it was a rough ride a rough ride and apparently eve thought she was going to sleep in the car but impossible because of the bumpy you know ride um from the farm i think to where they are right now jaribu you're doing a great work well, no, ah thank you thank you eh eh na mabe venye umepea au magoods na wamama kazi hapo at least wanaleta hiki tu wako unajua yetu ni production pia wako ni production wako hapo ana yeah so karaoke also creates employment by empower, empowering women as well so that's really ge- great because it's a teamwork you know it's teamwork actually so you can't do everything alone honestly guys and this is something that i've come to learn myself because we tend to always want to do everything by ourselves thinking that we'll do it better but again we don't have time for other things so we need to delegate as well and also you know so the time that somebody else is doing something for us then we can concentrate on other things and i think it's a good thing for karaoke because it's creating employment and and of course helping empowering women to in turn empower their children by taking them to school you know and all all those things it's it's a domino effect you know you help one person and the person helps um other people domino effect when i make the production if we success at least walk to a town walk fanya ile job unafanya at least of course dishi is important as long as you give 100% not 80% not 85 not 5% 100% in everything you do honestly it finishes by paying off 
Um, so if you give 5%, you'll have 5% of results. If you give 80, 80%. If you give 100, 100% for sure, for sure. So yeah, every hustle is valid, first of all. And if you give it 100% each time, then you will have some good stuff. So you doubt here, yeah. but wana fatua wa waji tume man. Waji tume. Si raisi. Wana ma job. Yeah. Sasa wakika tu hivyo bana. Utaumia. Yeah. Watu acha kusikia joke aliyokuwa anapata ni million juu nini. It's not easy. What? Ya raisi. Mimi ipate. Ume ni baba bana. Acha kuna kuna time ya lasses zinaweza kuwa mingi kuliko nini. Eh huyu ina happen. Eh. In fact many times eh, 2020 2020 yeah. yeah in fact many times 10 10 yeah lakini yeah. yeah. una yeah it's yeah. not easy ah manze where well, i shout you out thank you it's so much it's not easy yeah. thank you so much it's, nice. yeah. it's very nice that if you go and you know interview people like him because you know sometimes we just look at things from the outside you know and this is like the perfect image that i love seeing of the iceberg Like we just tend to see the tip of the iceberg and we don't really concentrate what's under the sea, right? Under the sea. <laughs> and um and so under the sea are the failures, the, the brokers who are you know dishonest. We have all the the losses, this and that, the energy, the time, the fatigue. All those things are under the iceberg and then on the top is a 1 million. But before you get that 1 million, you really undergo so many things. and this is um valid for everything for everything in life so we really need uh to put like um you know to to be very very um careful not to just look at the positive side of you know just the results but also think about all the sacrifices and all those things um you know that people go through so we can really acknowledge and respect their job Yeah. So guys, we've come to the end of our video today. It was a nice day to me choka lakini tumevumilia. Yeah, tumekuwa na karaoke the whole day. It's been nice. Imekuwa nice na bado imekuwa sio nice. Wa. So take a photo. It was a it was it tulianza the day gari ko imearibika. Tukakazana tukaita mechanic. Yeah, but we thank God. Everything imekuwa poa. So guys, that's the end. You subscribe, you like and share. We meet next time. Hit that red button. Yeah, karega kumujanga. Eh, na bado na omba kura. Yeah, come 18th. Mtaza kinyinyi. Na omba kura ya juja hapa. Tell a friend, tell a friend and vote bana. Thank you guys. So guys, that's my sentence karaoke. I always tell my subscribers to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell another friend, but you know what? I'm your sister. So yes guys, make sure you do the same thing. If you like this reaction video, make sure you subscribe and then turn on your post notifications on, comment, like, and of course tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell another friend and help me, you know, grow my channel and it's just a motivation for me like to bring you more content. and especially if you know somebody uh, you know an african youtuber a bit kenyan ghanaian uh from senegal i don't know from namibia from sudan whatever the case may be make sure you comment down below so i can you know uh react to their videos and yeah until next time guys thank you so much for watching and thank you so much eve this was a very inspiring um video and so see you guys next time bye bye guys bye bye bye